Hey guys, today we're going to be talking some more about rewriting equations. We're going to be going over some more examples on how to do these. And, you know, these are a few more complex examples too. Uh, you know, the first video where we talked about the theory behind it, we had some pretty straightforward problems. These are a little, little bit more, but let's get right to it. Let's say on both of those, on both of these problems, we want to get y on its own. So y equals. I'm going to go ahead and recognize there's my y here. And I'm going to point out what's happening around it. This 5 is multiplying it. And then again, this 20x as a whole, we treat that term as a single unit, is adding to it. So you always want to get rid of addition and subtraction first, then multiplication and division after that. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the addition. The opposite operation of addition is subtraction, so minus 20x to both sides. That'll cancel these out. Now after canceling these out, 5y is the only thing left on this side of the equation. On this side, these two terms cannot combine because they have different variable configurations, so therefore we're left with 50 minus 20x. At this point, I recognize the only thing left with that y is a 5, the 5 that is multiplying it. So I can go ahead and divide. So I'm going to divide by 5. Now I know we've talked about how you divide by 5 or you divide by whatever number's there and it divides everything by that number. I want to be a little bit more specific about that. Technically what happens is we can write it like this where it divides everything by that. But another way of writing it is actually like this where it divides each individual number. Now it can be important to write it in this way whenever those numbers can be divided. Not always the case, but in this, in, in this one, can 15 to be divided by 5? Absolutely. 15 divided by 5 is 3. Can negative 20 be divided by 5? Also it can. That's negative 4. And negative 4x specifically, because that x doesn't change. So now we finish our problem, we have y equals 3 minus 4x. That looks a lot better than this whole thing over 5, right? So that's something you have to ask yourself sometimes. When I divide this side of the fraction by a number, by whatever number was in front of the y in this case, can those numbers actually divide? If it's like a 7 and a 3, no, it, it's just going to stay like it is, that whole thing over the number. But in a problem where they can, we want to do so. Let's take a look at this second example. 16x plus 9y, or 9, equals 9y minus 2x. So yet again, I want to get my y on its own, and I want to see what's around it. Now it's on the other side of the equation. It's on the right side of the equation. That's okay. It doesn't ever matter whether our equations or whether our variables or numbers are on the left or right side. It all solves the exact same. So we have a 9 in front of it. It is multiplying and we have this 2x subtracting from it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and deal with, again, that addition or subtraction first. So plus 2x. And then I already have an x term over here, right? So I can go ahead and say, well, plus 2x to that x term. Previously, we haven't had that like term on the other side already, so we hadn't been able to, but here we can. So 16x plus 2x gives us 18x. And then we still have plus 9 there, and it equals 9y. All we have left with the y is that 9, which is multiplying, so we're going to divide. And in this case, again, I'm going to recognize these numbers can be divided by 9, so I'm going to divide each one separately. So these cancel each other out, leaving us with just 
y. 18 over 9. Can that simplify? Can that divide? Yes, it becomes a 2. So 2x. And then we have 9 over 9, or 9 divided by 9. Well, that's 1. So now we have 2x plus 1 equals y. And even though that y is on the other side of the equals sign, it's still a y equals problem. That's still the format we want it to be written in. And if it would work better just for you know, the way you mentally think about it, we can write it as y equals 2x plus 1. We can just flip the sides that it's on. That's totally okay, too. If you have any questions about these problems, feel free to drop them in the comments below, and I'll help out however I can. Thanks for watching, guys.